Over there. And over there, have you seen that? Look, there. Oh, look there. Oh, have you seen this one? You can hear them, you can see them. If you pay attention, they are everywhere. Birds. They are the living beings that decorate our sky. But not only that, they preserve our biodiversity and food chains. And still, every year, many of the birds that take on long journeys for a warmer climate or more food have to die. Because of light pollution, because of illegal animal killing, because of climate change. Migratory birds are highly threatened by us humans. What can we do for them? What are they doing for us? We humans are actually a lot more similar to birds than one might think. Our brains are wired in a similar way, especially areas important for high-level cognition such as long-term memory and problem-solving are wired up to other regions of the brain in a similar way. And this is despite the fact that both mammal and bird brains have been evolving down separate paths over hundreds of millions of years. Some of the similarities between birds and humans are due to them sharing a common ancestor millions and millions of years ago. That ancestor was a primitive, reptile-like creature that didn't resemble a human or a bird, but still had traits in common with both. In the era of climate change, migratory birds are of great importance for us and the planet. They help in dispersal of seeds, leading to maintenance of biodiversity along their roots. Ducks can transport fish eggs in their guts to a new water body. The droppings of birds, also known as guano, are rich in nitrogen and act as organic fertilizers. The links migratory birds have with agriculture are complex, but it is clear now that birds once only seen as pets or farmers also provide economic services as well. Many migratory birds are also hunted for food and traditional recreation. And many groups and cultures continue to rely economically on migratory birds for their livelihoods, including through employment in the growing global ecotourism industry. So what can we do against their endangerment? Beyond the obvious threats like climate change, illegal animal killing and light pollution, there are smaller steps you can take to protect migratory birds. As a cat owner, for example, you should think twice about letting the cat out. Keeping your cat indoors would save some bird lives. Another easy step is to add markers to your window so that birds can distinguish between a window reflection and the real thing and collisions with windows can be avoided. When planning your outdoor projects, make sure to do your research to avoid using harmful pesticides. Besides that, also logging bird sightings with specific apps can help conservation research. And we should all follow the theme of this year's World Migratory Bird Day. Dim the light for birds at night. Do you see stars at night? Hmm, no, I don't think so. No, I so. don't see any stars. No, I don't. Mm, no. More than 80% of all people on the planet live under a so-called lit sky. It is time to change that. Time to save our little friends. Time to save the future.